everybody. This is Blossom. I am here for the Flasher Stash Challenge. This is uh, something that was started by Terry of the Yarn Joy podcast and the Sosa Family podcast channel, Sosa Family channel. They started to talk about doing a Flasher Stash Challenge because a lot of people have questions about how we store our yarn and how we go about using our yarn. Just kind of curiosity about that for a lot of you out there. So I thought I would join in and, and do a little bit. I was planning to reorganize, and so I thought I would join in. So the first question is, what do you like to store your yarn in? So most of my yarn is in these storage containers you see behind me. These are shoe racks that go in your closet, on a wall, whatever. Me mainly meant to be in your closet. So they have 12 separate containers, compartments, excuse me. And that means there's 24 sections. And each of them will hold, for at least for me, will hold approximately three cakes of yarn in each one. Now, I don't know how you would, how many you would be able to get in here if you were not caking the yarn. My husband has caked all of my yarn as a way to start storing it more easily before we even built this room and before we even bought these containers. I will insert some pictures so that you can see when we first started. And I would also like to put some pictures of the top of these containers so you can see what those look like and how those are mounted. So I'll put a couple pictures here. Okay, so I store my yarn in these, and I also store them in, as you will see in a little while, I store them in totes, and that's the main way that I store them. The yarn that is in these is mostly acrylic. There's some blends in there. Some of them will have a little bit of wool in them. Since we live out in the country. I prefer to keep all of my hand dyed yarns up above me here in totes. So that will stay in totes. It's still caked and it's still separated by weight. So that that's that goes to the next one which is the, do you sort it by brand, weight, color, content. So not really by brand so much. Uh, Although I found when I was reorganizing this, I kind of did. I was trying to, I guess I had several, in a way, several things that were like a few Fair Isles and a few of the Caron Simply Soft and a few of, you know, so I guess I kind of grouped them together in here. And not really by color though. Although I would say that I did put the variegated together and that kind of thing the ombres all together so more like kind of like type or so but i do put them by weight so as you'll see in a minute i started by weight and went around putting them together by weight do you like to keep particular colors and brands on hand or do you like to buy for a certain project i just like to buy yarn straight up honest with you I just like yarn I, there is no rhyme or reason if I like it I buy it where do you store your scraps and what do you use them for I don't have a whole lot of scraps 
I have some up on top of these that are pieces of things, and that's where I would say that the storage is. And then I have a bowl that has some scraps that are the smaller ones. What do I use them for? Mostly blankets. Like I'm making a blanket now, and since my husband does the cakes, he just knots them together and makes those not really a magic cake like everybody's talking about. He just knots them together and makes makes a cake out of them. He puts them all together by color. And I've been putting them in his blanket that I'm making for him. Do you inventory your yarn? And if so, how? I will tell you this. I do have a couple of what I call cheat sheets. A 3 by 5 card telling me what mandalas I have, what burnout puffs I have, because they were going on sale, I was seeing them out, and I was starting to buy several, but I've kind of steered away from those. I feel like I have enough of them right now. Other than that, I don't really. I just look at it. It's all here. I mean, this this is nice to be able to see it. And I guess if you had it in the totes, you could see it too. So, but no, I don't inventory it. So that's my five questions. I hope this is helpful. I'm going to put this together. I hope it's not too choppy. And show you how I was organizing today. Okay, guys, here is the empty one that just took all that stuff out of. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 compartments and as you can see you reach in from either way this is where you put your shoe see you know right into the sides on either side and I've got roughly three in each one some of them are bigger so like the bulkies I can't get three and there's a little room up at the top and then if you can see it comes with these metal Deals, which my husband has attached to the board back here 
And honestly, yes. See, because it's, there you go. So he, had, he screwed that to the board, and that made these sturdier, and then they hook on right here. Some of you were asking me how these are up here on the wall, and I didn't show that very well in my craft room tour. I did show you he put the lights up behind. Okay, so I have five of these in here, in, inside the room. So there's one. Okay, come on, focus. There we go. Two, three, four, and five. So three on that wall and two on this wall. And then there's one on the other side of this wall. Okay. So then down at the bottom, there's room the way he has them hung up. See, there's room down there for these totes. But I don't know if I showed you really the size of these totes. So let's see what these. I don't know. Let me see. get my measuring tape out hold on okay so these are about eight inches deep and 16 inches long which means I probably have about 10 inches clearance from the bottom of these to the floor depending on how much weight's in there and then i have room in here for one two three four five six of those totes there's probably just not enough room even if i scooted that over i mean i might be able to get another tote there but be pushing it we'll see if i need to i will reason I'm saying that is because I'm redoing this room right now. I'm in the process of it anyway, and I just wanted to bring you along, but I brought home that empty tote there, and then the back back there, that one is empty as well. So hold on, I'll let you know how big these are. Okay, so here is this one, and it is 13 this way it is 12 tall and it is oh, I've already forgotten Twenty two long. There's all the yarn that came out of that in my laundry basket, along with what's in the chair. And then I don't know if you could tell, but that was vintage. And I want to set that aside. I may have to I may want to put that someplace else. Okay, so right here. That's bulky, like six and above. That is homest homespun. That is a number four weight knitting project. And all of the yarn, this was a kit that came from Hershner's. It's the one kit that I have. That's the rag rug kit. Those are my extra project bags and purses, various magazines and books that need to be put in the book rack, but I'm going to have to go through and organize that, and I'm going to probably do another video on that. Um, this is those wire baskets that I'm going to use whenever I display. Uh, like if I do a craft show, 
and I haven't done one yet because I don't have enough stock. And this has stuff for soap making that won't fit in my back room. More books. This is the knitting. Most of this is crochet. And these drawers are the extra things, um, small things that need to be put somewhere. So mostly beads in that one and other things that you would do with beads like these barrettes and that's a kit right there. So that's mostly beads. This one is double point needles. This one, I've got a palm maker, another palm maker. There's some little bitty claw, lobster claws. There's um, stitch holders. Some of this is, I told you in another video, the craft room tour. I don't want to go over it all again, but some of this was my mom's stuff. But I mean, this is like little things that need a place, need a home. This is a circular needle case, knitting needles. A couple of notebooks. This I found the other day at work. And it's my case for my hair cutting scissors. And I was able to get some storage out of this because I'm I'm really not using that my scissors sit in my drawer I'm sorry I'm being shaky here sorry guys let me show you this real quick so that's plastic ones metal ones over here on this side that's better Be right back. Okay, so again, up on top of this, my extra knitting needles back there, buttons, zippers, ball winders. There's the head that I use to take pictures. That's just a decoration. Those are going to be for the giveaway and some smaller things. I may be redoing these shelves. I don't know yet. Got my TV, sewing notions, my diffuser, my candle, uh, wax melts. That's the dresser. I may slide some pictures in here too to show you what things kind of look like before we redid this. These two right here are cotton. That's Christmas stuff basket of my knitted items. These are my project bags, my stereo system, and books I'm listening to, thread. This hasn't changed much and probably won't. My little minis. There's the bigger crochet hooks in here, the big plastic ones and stuff. And I found these the other day. That's for little bitty stuff, but I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet. Stitch markers hanging there. Calendar, mirror, the sewing desk, trash. Oh. I have one of these too, just like what Ross talked about on his live that he got from his grandma. This was my husband's mother's sewing basket type thing that folds up. Okay, guys, let me see what else I'm going to do next, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm thinking I probably am going to start with the bulky, uh, bulky five. Since I have like the bulky six and that kind of thing down over there, 
I'm going to start with the bulky five here and work my way around that way. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Be Alpine Authentic, color neutral, that's a five. This is the, I love this chunky, gray stone. Kind of hard to see. You see how that really isn't enough room for another one right there? So you have to be a little more strategic when you are putting these in sometimes. I mean, they're not meant for this, so it works great. But you have to kind of plan it. I mean, that's going to hold the little ones back that way, and it'll hold itself in. Because I did only have the two in this side.
dropped it. Okay, now there's this one, which is the other part of this one. This is one of those yarns with the fur on it. It's the Yarn Be Romantic and the color Cedar. Again, I've got a little one there. I love this chunky Heather Brown. And we'll put it there. And no, I'm not doing this according to colors. I'm trying to do right now just do this according to weights. Curtain closed. I always try to close that whenever I'm recording. That way my husband knows that I'm recording. So I've got this one done. And I've got this one done. And these two, I just finished this one. But just have the one left in the corner. And I, that one is three weight and lower. I also did the one out on the other side of this wall. So in order to do this last one, <laughs> gonna have to move all this stuff. I did empty my bag and I did empty my basket and I'm probably gonna need both of them now to do that last one. So I'm gonna take you around and show you in a little while, but Again, this I started with this as a number five here. And they went to fours, fours, and fours. So three fours. And then on the outside, that's mostly cotton, but it's different weights. So this will be fun. Okay, hang on. I finished the hat. So this was the bulky five that I got in that sale. And I think it's a charisma. And I held it together with the reclaimed sweater yarn, the gray one. And this is the one I said was for our waitress. So I finished it and I'm pretty proud of it. It's 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 a nice substantial uh, weight and, and texture. Okay, be right back. Okay, let's start unloading it. And actually I'm going to leave that there. This is um, Croy Sock. Dang. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can see it there. Okay. Found the spot. Anyway, this is a one sock yarn. And I think. That's a Croy sock, that's a one. And those up there, I don't know if you can see those. No, in the corner. Up on the top of it, these are Croy sock as well. Prairie, Route 66. They're the same one. I think. Now, sometimes I do them this way. Stack them on top of each other like that. 
Don't worry guys, I'm going to bring you closer. And these up here, on the very top, are also either one or a three. There's not very much of them. This one is a four. You'll go back to here. Yeah, that's a three. Okay, those are threes. That's Croy Sock. Good cray cray. This is the Wolfrey. This is a sock. What sock weight? Neon pink. And this is a premier 93% acrylic and 7% nylon. So I mean, it's a sock yarn. It doesn't say sock. It's got a deal for a hat on there. But it's a one. Super fine. Purple and black and gray. I'm just looking to see if there's any more cloy. I don't think so. Okay. So then, that's the number one, so we'll go in there. Now, kind of go on the opposite with this because at five, four, four, and four down to here, and then I came back up to three. So I really should go back down, but it's hard to see that stuff on the very bottom because I have my shelf there. So I'm probably going to put some mandalas down there because I mean, I know they're there. I can go get them anytime and keep working with the one to three on the top. And then again, I also have some other three that guess what I found? No, this one is the Yarn Bee Fair Isle. Remember I said the Fair Isle? But it, the one I uh, was looking for was Red Heart. I found the Yarn Bee. And this Gray Multi. 80% uh, acrylic and 20% alpaca. This is a three weight. Okay. Maybe I should put the one over there and the threes on this side. You guys are talking, talking to me and you're telling me that, right? That's a three. Let's just get this out of here. This is that wool light. It's a one. You see, sometimes, what is that? Burnout softy baby. Is that a three? It's a three. 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 
guys, have you seen these? These are so much fun. Gosh, see, I've got you up underneath this light right now. Sorry. So it's a gray and a tan. This stuff is like suede. This is the... I dropped it. Forever Style by Yarnby Hobby Lobby. It says it's a four. But the reason I had it over there was look how thin this is. Mm. I'm just not seeing it as a four. They're so slippery. Anyway, I'm going to consider that a three. Okay, Urban Chick. Three weight. Okay, I'm going to finish clearing this out and I'll be back. Okay, so because you can't see back in this corner to see what I was doing, I wanted to show you one, two, three, four. There's spaces. Ah. Okay. So this is that back. So I decided to put some of those mandalas down there and some of the other three weights down there just simply because it's hard to get to stuff back there and that stuff I'm not going to use right away okay be right back okay so I got my table back here and the back side back there you could barely see there's just empty things I'm not using right now um, like some Christmas containers and some empty plastic containers that have the little compartments in them. Not sure what I'm going to do with those just yet, but I want them here just in case. This bottom one is what is my extra planner stuff. And this one is the planner stickers. So everything's right here. And I sit here to do my planning. Now we've got the bags. With the projects in them. You haven't even seen this one yet. Guys, I hope I'm not making you sick. Okay. And this is why I can't have the ability to get back there. See how much harder it is? I know. If I didn't have as many projects going. But anyway. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. So briefly. Let me get myself together. I'll be right back. Okay. So this is the. Container that's on the outside of the wall. And that's all cotton. So comfy cotton. Come on, clear. Oh, it doesn't want to clear. Comfy cotton blend. Um, cotton cakes. Cotton I bought from yarn stores. 
goes all the way down to here. There's that vintage. Oh, now it's clearing up. And this down here is the scrubby stuff. And this is the cotton that wouldn't fit in those containers over there. So most of this here is cotton. It's all cotton and scrubby. Okay, so starting right here with the five weight. And I don't know, you guys might have noticed that this shoe rack is a little different than the rest. This one is shiny plastic because we got this one at the container store. It's the first one we bought. And then we went to Target and bought the rest of these. Now I cannot remember, I believe they were very close to the same amount, somewhere around $30 a piece. So you saw some of the stuff I was putting away in here. Bulky yarn. Here's ribbon yarn. Chunky. This is that reflective. It's a number five. And then my latte cakes are down there. I just have those four. They were hard to find because I started to get them when they started to go away. Okay. Trying to do this as easily as I can. And again, you can see there's just that little bit of space at the top. So those remnants that are on top of there are like pieces of the stuff down here or like things. So here we've got the landscapes. Unforgettable. And that goes into Shawl and a Ball. I just have these four. Um, that's Yarn B. Chloe, and this is part of these over here, but this is the, I love this yarn prints. These are Fireside Comfort, Yarn B, Yarn B Glowing. These two are Yarn B Stripe It. That's actually a vintage there. These are dazzling. And then we've got some solid color fours. Those are minis in those three compartments there. And then we get down into the cream. And these down here are sort of tweed or heathered. Okay, remnants up there, and then I decided to do more of the like prints and the variegated on these first ones here. Some of that's Caron Simply Soft, Soft and Sleek. These are those new ones I just got, the Fair Isle. These two are the Pooling, this one and this one. This is Plymouth Jellies. Plymouth Yarn here, all the way down. This is what I got in uh, my yarn haul when I went to, when we went to Omaha. And then that down there, the Burnout Pops, because they're a number four. Although, guys, they're a really heavy four. But they're still a four. And the baby, I've got the baby pops down here. 
and these are sugar wheel and this is the like butter that's one that my husband made let's go back to the top that red heart up there is a four weight but it's so slick that when my husband tried to cake it up it was just it was just hard to cake so we just left it like it was so there's black white this is the heartland all of this here is the heartland yarn this is that biscayne i just got the red that i'm using and the dark uh, great smoky mountains that i'm using Then we start getting into the ombre, the red heart ombre. I just have these colors here. The green, the purple, the gray, the coral, the blue. I showed you that a minute ago. And these are the anti-pilling, the yarn bee anti-pilling, the baby stuff. And it's three weight. And then I have all the party sparkle. And then I just mix those is what I did. And started to mix going over into this one. I don't actually have a whole lot of the one in the like bar, box store type, what they call box store like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart and stuff because I have a lot of it in the hand painted. These are the Delish Boutique. There are three. This, is ha this has some Merino in it. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Um, somebody had asked me how big this is. And it, it's really not as big as it looks. This really makes it look big. But this really is only about. I haven't stepped it off. Ten or twelve. Square. 10 or 12 feet square. It's about it. It's not a real tall ceiling, but I mean, we've got, sh I've got shelves up there and these here, which is, so it's 10, 12 feet at least. So like a little square back here my little square in the world <laughs> anyway um i think that about answers everything like i said i'll i will insert pictures various pictures here and there i, I did find a few that i know will help some people to understand i had some comments so maybe this will help and uh there's no calling out to anybody to uh tag them for something like this this is just uh if you wanted to do it and since i was thinking of doing this reorganization a little bit and um clarifying a few things for people i thought i'd join in thanks for coming back and uh watching and i'm so thankful to the new subscribers and i'm so thankful to those of you who are uh, have been with me from the beginning or joining in and uh, we're, we're gonna have fun yeah it's already been fun I'm gonna do some more lives and uh, I'm really enjoying this community and, and being a part of this so thank you and I will see you next time Peace.